aren't aware of the many dangers in the home. But once you learn more about burns, you'll see just how dangerous the home is. You'll also see how easy it is to prevent accidents before they happen. The kitchen is the most dangerous room in the house. Most accidents happen right here from hot grease, hot water, or small appliances. The kitchen is a work area, a very dangerous work area. It's not a playground, so small children should not be allowed to play in the kitchen. If you have a younger brother, sister, niece, nephew, I know they're cute and cuddly, but they also get in the way. So please keep small children out of the kitchen. Pot holders. Always use pot holders when cooking to remove hot pots from the stove. But when you're finished, make sure that they're far away from the flame. Also, when frying, make sure you have a large pot lid and baking soda available. In case of a small grease fire, you want to take the pot lid and smother the flame. If it's anything bigger than that and it gets out of hand, take the baking soda, pour it onto the fire to extinguish it. Learn to cook with the handles of the pot turned inward so that you won't knock the pot over onto yourself or to your little brother or sister. And make sure that the flame is adjusted so that it doesn't creep out over the sides of the pot. <laughs> if the flame is too hot, your hair or your clothes could catch on fire. Most homes have microwave ovens or toaster ovens. They're great, quick, easy, fun. They're also very dangerous. Heat producing appliances should never be left plugged in and nothing should ever be left sitting on top of them. If someone should happen to come by and press the starting button, they could start a fire. Be careful of freshly heated foods from the microwave oven. Microwave ovens cook from the inside out. Therefore, the food on the inside is hotter than it is on the outside. For example, if you're cooking baby food in a microwave oven, be sure to stir it up then test it for temperature. The steam from bagged or covered foods like popcorn and TV dinners can burn you. So you better be careful. Under the sink, there are many dangerous chemicals. Some chemicals cause very serious burns. <laughs> If you have a child in the house and you store chemicals like bleach, ammonia, Drano under the cabinet, put a child safety lock on the door and block it. Check this out. An appliance cord left hanging over the side of the counter. Along comes little brother or sister, yank, and this blender's going to come tumbling down on top of them. We don't want that. So take the cord and tuck it underneath. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, look at this. <laughs> We have an overloaded outlet. Too many plugs in the outlet can cause a fire. So take this, uh, unplug it, and use these outlet covers. And plug them into the empty sockets. Fire. Fire is a very important part of our lives. And sooner or later, children are going to become curious about fire. Whew. Teach them that matches are tools, not toys, and store them far out of their reach. Hot liquids and holding babies does not mix. A baby could suddenly move and spill the hot liquid onto yourself and the child. So please, 
Be safe, be careful, and don't be sorry. Smoking in bed can be extremely dangerous. That last cigarette that someone has to have before they go to bed is the very cigarette that can catch the bed sheets on fire. So don't smoke in bed. Skulls are the most common household burns. Did you know the water that comes out of the faucet is hot enough to burn you? So be sure to test the water before washing your hands, taking a shower, or dipping into the tub. When bathing the child, it's especially important to test the water. And always have your baby products on hand so you have no reason to leave the child unattended. Never leave a child unattended in the bathtub. If the doorbell rings, don't answer it. If the telephone rings, don't answer it. If you absolutely have to leave the bathroom, take the child with you. Check out your living room to make sure it's safe for you and your family members. Keep portable heaters away from curtains, furniture, and keep small children away from portable heaters. Make sure there are no electric cords to catch on fire. One of the smartest things you can do for yourself and your family is to have smoke detectors installed in your home. Smoke detectors. Make sure they're in working order and make sure that you change the batteries often. Smoke detectors can save lives. Becoming burn wise also means knowing what to do in case of an accident. If you do happen to catch on fire, don't panic and don't run. Running will only increase the flames. Instead, stop, drop, and roll. Once you have rolled and completely smothered the flame, remove clothes and flush burn with cold water. Then call for medical help. Remember, don't run. Stop, drop, and roll. If you get a chemical burn, flush area for 20 to 30 minutes at least, or until medical help arrives. Next, cover burn with sterile gauze and a clean sheet. Go to the nearest emergency room fast. What would you do if you woke up to the sound of the smoke alarm and realized your house was on fire? Roll out of bed and onto the floor. Smoke rises, so the closer you are to the floor, the better you'll be able to breathe. Crawl to the door and touch the back of it to see if it's hot. If it's cold, then open it and crawl out of the room. Leave the building by taking the stairs out. Do not take the elevator when there's a fire. If the front door is hot when you touch it, then use an alternate exit, like a fire escape. The smartest way to be prepared in case of a fire is to create a fire escape plan. It's easy to do. Draw a diagram of your home, making sure to label all windows, doors, fire escapes, and stairs. Next, plan how you would leave your home if there was a fire. You must know at least two ways out of your home in case your first exit is blocked. If you can't get out through the door, follow your second plan. Use a fire escape or collapsible ladder if available. If you can't use ladder or fire escape, stand by an open window and yell for help. Do not hide. Firefighters will help you get out. Pick a meeting place safely outside your home. Family members should meet there to determine if everyone is safe. Once outside, someone should go to a neighbor's home to call for help or pull the fire call box in case firefighters have not yet arrived. Whatever you do, do not go back inside of the building. Firefighters are trained to rescue people and yes, they often rescue pets. Well, congratulations. You now know what it takes to be burn wise. Practice your fire escape plan. It's important for each of us to learn as much as we can about basic burn prevention and fire safety techniques. Well, now that you know, you can teach your parents, brothers, sisters, friends. You can make the difference if you know how to be burn wise. <laughs>